Hey, Charlie Levine here with Power Motor Yacht Magazine. We are down in Miami, Florida, where we just got to go for a test ride on the new Formula 387 center console. This is the first center console formulas built in, I think, since the 70s, 80s. And they did their homework. They spent several years researching how they wanted to do it. We spent the day offshore. We did some trolling. We did some deep dropping. We ran our performance numbers. The boat handled great. Went at top end 60, 61 miles an hour. It was a rough chop coming out of Hallover, and the boat just didn't care at all. It's a heavier boat, rode great. Really, really impressive. So many cool design things that we're gonna show you. So take a look. So I did want to show the name, which I just thought was great, Secret Formula. Uh, the crew from Formula was telling me that uh, Scott Porter used that name on some of his race boats back in the day. You know, Formula has a pedigree for speed and high performance, and this boat is no different. Uh, she's This model here is powered by triple 450 Mercury racing outboards, um, which are custom painted to match this beautiful color combo on the boat. And a lot of room back here on the transom. It's got these wide, you know, platforms where you can step on, makes boarding a lot easier. It's got the walkthrough door. As you come into the transom, or into the cockpit rather, you'll see there's twin live wells. I believe these are each 40 gallons pressurized. Uh, we had quite a bit of pilchards left over from today, and they are still swimming happy. Uh, you get a better view of the outboards there. Um, there's a, an aft bench seat that folds out. So as you see, there's a nice bench seat there for sitting. Oops, sorry. Uh, this boat is rigged up with an electric grill, which I thought was pretty clever. It's in a nice convenient spot. You'll see there's these quick release fender clips up and down the gunnels. Um, check out the beefy hardware. So this boat is wired for um, electric reels. And then you've got your, you know, this is cable, I believe. And then you've got your main shore powers here. This is a dive ladder that attaches to right into those holes in the dive door there. Um, now when it comes to a fishing boat, obviously you want to have plenty of room for tackle, but this being a formula, they also wanted to be very family friendly, lots of seating, lots of entertaining space. And they did something with the tackle center that I just thought was super creative. So when you open up this drawer right here, you'll see there's buttons. It's got a sunshade that will retract out of the T top. Um, but check this out, this cooler, slides out on an actuator system so you could use this as a step whether it's to grab the rods up top it's a really big cooler super well insulated and when you want to sit this is really cool the seat just slides out and now You've got a beautiful mezzanine type seat where you can sit comfortably, face the lines. It's got all your, well, the switches are here. Lots of uh, storage down below. This one holds all your tackle trays. And there's uh, two locking mechanisms. And these right here, these are AC vents. So when you're sitting here, it actually hits you in the low back really really comfortable and then when you're done you just push that out of the way and you've got a nice place to set up lunch or rig your baits there's also a, uh, a sink here with a cutting board underneath <laughs> and this is so smart so this cutting board is set to fit right on that center center piece of like uh, decking material and this cutting board will not move so you've got a sink there, you can rig your baits. That goes back in there, it's all Corian. And uh, the reason this is part of that same synthetic decking material is the ladder to go upstairs is right here. And you'll notice this is just a massive 
hard top. This is the Sure Shade system. This will extend out. I'll show you that. So that's all automatic as well. And there's also a shade for the bow. It's one of a it's a Mediterranean style shade on poles, so you can shade this whole boat from the motors to the tip of the bow, which is just a lovely feature down here in South Florida. So moving forward, also notice there's chargers all over the place on this boat. Um, there's a slide out Yeti cooler that you can get that lives down here. So this moves, it's a little hard to do with one hand, but this will slide out, it's a uh, 35 quart. And then you gotta drop this. This is a, a mechanism to keep the cooler from sliding and the door actually will not shut unless the cooler's locked in place. More storage. <laughs> now these hose systems, I totally fell in love with these when we were fishing. These are spring fed. So rather than having one of those hoses that's a coil, you know, when you get it where you want, you use it and then um, it'll just, you give it a little bit of a pull and it'll retract it automatically. Keeps the hose out of the way, just really nice. Um, pop up cleats. Okay, now this helm is just awesome. Um, I got to run the boat from Stiltsville to Hallover and actually through the canal and it was so comfortable. We were running about, I don't know, low 40s and it was a, a, a decent chop today. So the boat handled just great. Uh, this one is rigged out with three Garmin's. Three Garmin screens. And if you notice... It's a nice clear view up there. Well, that's because the windshield is up. Now, this feature really blew my mind. We had the windshield open when we were running, I don't know, 40 miles an hour, and it really didn't budge. This whole thing is very solid. So, I'm gonna close the windshield here. <laughs> And you'll hear it, it really locks into place. So just a great way to open that up. There is AC coming through on the vent, on the um, dash here. But if you want to get some air flowing, that's just a beautiful way to do it. There's an amazing amount of speakers on the boat. The stereo system is brilliant. All of your switching is nice and easy to reach. It's got the new, gar or new Mercury controls and this ha also has the integrated bow thruster. So we stopped for lunch at um, Monty's over there on Virginia Key, and the captain was able to wedge us into a really tight squeeze without any problem at all. It's just the boat can spin so fast with the integrated bow thruster and the motors, obviously. It's got some nice teak trim work. Um, it's just a beautiful boat, but I think what really impressed me the most just from driving up here was the visibility. You know, I'm not a tall guy and it's incredible sight lines all around the boat. I also like how clean everything is. If you notice the VHF cord just goes up through here. Um, it keeps everything out of the way, out of your line of sight. Chargers, uh, three big helm seats really really comfortable let's take a look too at the machinery space so I'm gonna close this so underneath this big hatch is a Fisher Panda diesel generator a Seakeeper gyro and all of your filters and systems So you'll see, as you would expect from Formula, it's just incredibly well laid out. Everything's labeled, everything's easy to get to, right where you want it. Uh, it's got a Seakeeper 3 gyro, 
which really came in handy when we were deep dropping. Um, just kept the boat nice and stable. You've got your batteries. Those are the starting batteries. The house batteries are under the helm, I believe. Um, just really well done. Formula has been building boats a long time and it shows. So I did show you on one side of the helm had a Yeti pullout cooler. Uh, this side actually has a trash can, which really comes in handy. So you don't have buckets up and down. Um, giant fish boxes that are actually, uh, these fish boxes, let me close the dive door or transom door. So these fish boxes are rigged out with freezer plates real heavy see our catch there so that that aluminum that metal there those are all freezer plates keeps things nice and cold super insulated storage everywhere um, another thing that I thought was really really smart so they use these fender clips around the boat now these are to keep your halyards tight on the outriggers See if you can see that. It's actually on a fender clip. So when the outriggers go out, you just basically pop that fender clip out and then you can put your halyards right there. Boom. Fast, simple, and efficient. Just smart. Uh, these are more storage. And you can see the fender clips too. They're the way the storage is. You keep them tied to that, which makes putting your fenders out super easy as well. Moving forward, it's a big sun deck seating up here. Nice seating for two. And I bet you can guess what's under here. So more storage that is also insulated for drinks and food, provisions. It's got a couple of light bars. Uh, there's your anchor locker forward with a Lumar windlass, clean, 300 feet of rope, 30 feet of chain. Um, they use these cup holder rod holders all the way down the gunnels. You'll see there is some salt on the boat. Like I said, we were just uh, out fishing, so the boat has not been washed, full disclosure. <laughs> um, more storage, every single bit of space on this boat is utilized and that's something I just love. These have access to more systems, some switch panels. Okay, so here's your your main switch panel under the helm seat. Again, well labeled, well laid out, and it does have hard switches on the dash as well as digital switches on the Garmin. Um, I find that having the actual switches is handy when you're running the boat and you're kind of bouncing around. Just, I really have nothing bad to say. This has been a beautiful boat. It's a lot of fun to get out on it. I'm looking at my performance numbers, wide open today, we were in the low 60 mile an hour. Um, she handled great just such a cool boat so like i said earlier you know gar or, uh, formula has not built a center console for quite some time so it's quite obvious they did their homework and i really think they knocked it out of the park it's a beautiful boat it's going to be at the fort lauderdale boat show i encourage everyone to get out and take a walk on it because it's just it's impressive and what you don't see is how nice she rode. She really handled great. All right, so stepping into the, the cabin inside the console here, it's very roomy. Got a lot of headroom in here. Um, you know, I'm standing in the galley area and it's, a, it's well over six feet. Um, now, obviously you can convert this into a berth 
And one thing Formula's done that I thought was really clever, you know, whenever you have these filler cushions, you're sort of like, where do I put the cushions? What should I do with them? Well, check this out. So when you fold these down, which this offers um, access to the tank, this one's got a battery. And then once you open that up, this drawer slides out and now that holds your filler cushions. This is the pedestal for a table that goes uh, right in this hole. And you basically lower the table down, put these filler cushions. When you're done with them, you plop them back in the drawer, shut the drawer very easy. And uh, these hold that drawer in place. So you would never know it's there. It's just out of sight, out of mind. There's also some natural light in here. You see there's three windows. There is a window up top you have your stereo control, two windows with blinds, small galley area with a microwave, refrigerator and sink. And this, this is one of the larger heads I've seen in a, a center console of this size. I mean, it's always sort of hard to film, but this is a stand up wet head. You'll see there's a shower, um, the floor drains, and it's just very roomy. I like these hooks too dry out you know if you got some wet bathing suits or something and there's even a charger for your phone there's a ridiculous amount of chargers in this boat uh, they realize people always have their phones with them so why not just keep them charged and those are great too because it holds your boat safely so that is the cabin area and you know hallmark really good beautiful stainless hardware just a, a really cool area. Okay, so that is the new Formula 387 CCF. This is the fishing model of the new center console. They also have a sport model that's gonna be more uh, focused as a day boat, I'd say, and kind of laid out with that, and different transom setup, more seating in the back, no live wells, that kind of thing. Um, I think Formula is really smart in the way they handled this build, as far as doing their research, figuring out what people want, and offering a little bit of everything to keep their portfolio diverse. You know, they've got the sport boats, they've got the yachts, they've got the bow riders, the cruisers. They do it right and it shows. I had a great time with the crew and I think you're gonna love this boat. For more information, make sure to visit powermotoryacht.com or pmymag.com and pick up the latest issue of Power Motor Yacht Magazine. I'm Charlie Levine and we'll see you on the water.